I've been playing a lot of high tier tanks recently. So to switch things up a bit, I figured I'd play 5.3 Germany. Germany has a few under tier tanks at this BR range, so hopefully I can demonstrate how absurd they are. We're playing the Panther D, Panzer 470, and Tiger H1. Now the main issue is that the Tiger H1 isn't bad by any measure, it's just not very easy to use. Like, I think people get way too confident and they rush forward and they die, when really the Tiger is more of a sit back and take things carefully kind of vehicle. Especially when you have an up tier like we have. Oh, that's, uh, that's an M50 Sherman. I don't want to mess with that. He can pen us anywhere, so... We, we bounced a 122. That was a really bad shot, but it didn't really matter because uh, it was a Sherman. And we all know it takes five Shermans to kill one Tiger, right? Jumbo. I really don't know what shot us there. Yeah, keep in mind, this is a full up tier. Germany really suffers, guys. And it looks like... There is a BT-5 trying to be funny. If I wanted to be really annoying, I could bush up my Tiger as well, but... I think that'd be overdoing it at that point. You know, it used to be that German teams in this BR range were incredibly bad, but I think a lot of people have realized just how broken 5.3 Germany is, so whenever they have like a challenge or anything they need to do, this is where they go. Surprised he isn't on fire. Yep, that did it. And that is a hell diver, I think. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I think next I'll try the Panzer 470 because this is one tank I really despise. Like with the 75 or 76, you can, you just can't do anything to it frontally, and it's so small. Now I imagine the gun depression's not great. I get seven. That's workable. I think the armor on this is about as good as a panther, frontally. Dude's trying to be sneaky over there. Uh, <laughs> what? How? What was that? There is a certain gun in this game, or a certain caliber, I don't know what it is, but the hit sound is genuinely painful. Well, it sounds like we are getting flanked right now. Nope, not flanked. He's right there. Yep. Man, they really should have made a better turret for this thing. My god. Sorry, better turret reverse, I should say. And someone's not very happy with my existence, I guess. <laughs> Look at the turret, man. <laughs> the Panther's turret is volumetric hell. It used to be pretty easy to take out, now it's just... impossible. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see a juicy, lightly armored medium tank. The Mark 103s are ridiculous. I'm like a miniature A10 right now. Jeez. That dude died in like, what, 20 shots? It just doesn't feel fair. That's why I don't bring planes in my lineups. It's just, yeah, it's a great as a tool for revenge, but there's, <laughs> what gameplay is there in this? Jeez. Spawn camping with a plane. Like, we're not even getting down tiers, and we're still doing incredibly well. It's a good thing I shot, because I think the 90 mil can pen me. Yeah, it's gonna try to lock down this, uh, this area here. Are you kidding me? And we are already being spawn camped by a light tank. Good one. 
But yeah, the uh, T3045 turret, I find, is real funny. I like that. No, I think that's uh, KV. Nope, IS-1. I just realized this is not an ideal place to be. Oh, that's not good. Sorry, was that an M36? How did that not one-shot us? But yeah, roughly with the Tiger, you want to kind of align the gun with the corner of the hole, but a little bit to the left, because on the lower sides, it's 65 millimeters, I think, and people can't exploit that if you over-angle. And just make sure you're aware of the smoke grenade launcher so you don't, uh, you know, force your gun to elevate. Also a good tip for Tiger players, don't take a billion rounds of ammo. Well, you're fine with 20 or 25. Yeah, on long-range maps like this, most allied tanks can't even really retaliate all that well. But yeah, you guys get the gist of it. 5.3 Germany is just a little bit powerful. You don't get a ton of down tiers in the Tiger H1, but when you do, it is just not fair. But yeah, anyway, if you guys have suggestions for vehicles you want me to play, leave it in a comment. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.